Hey, what's up, guys? It's 4 a.m. Frozen here. Let's play some Bravely Default. So, I think we're going to the optional. Well, not op. It's like a what side do you quest. Make of that ship? I have no idea. Oh, you're back. Has something happened? Oh, uh, we've just been seeing a mysterious ship pass by us in this harbor ever since the Civil War started. It gives me the creeps. It's an old sailing ship that's falling to pieces. It always shows up on foggy nights. Has it tried to harm you? No, it's just an eerie sight to see. We sometimes hear screams coming from it as well. Screams? Well, not exactly screams, more like really loud muttering. You can hear it even when the ship is way off in the distance. It says something like, no, no, not here. Perhaps they're looking for something? When do you see this ship? The last time was a night about two weeks ago. It always sails across the eastern end of this harbor from north to south. Hmm, sounds like a ghost ship to me, brother. The Four Shield Bear Warriors. Say, Zatz, I met Steiner over at Central Command. So that wily fox yet lives, eh? He was always the brains of the four warriors of the shield bears. What's he doing? Good, he's been moving up in the world while we've been hiding out here. He was clad in some magnificent armor, it was really shiny, and by the look on his face, really uncomfortable. And newer? Is she still trying to steal Commander Goodman away from his wife? Didn't see newer, so who knows? But rumor has it she's battling Steiner for promotion. Hmm, they're fighting to get ahead of one another. That doesn't sound like the four warriors we know. I'd wager scrambling up that ladder of success is a lot more trouble than we could imagine. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever understand the allure. Just order me into the fray to bust some heads, that's all I need. Well said, well said indeed. Okay. Um, so... Is there... Nothing. Do I have to like wait for night time or? I'm not super fond of doing a ghost ship mission as it is currently in the middle of the night for me right now. 4 a.m. So, and if you guys are wondering why I'm up at 4 a.m., that is, I'll just let this auto going because it sounds kind of weird, but I had a nightmare and I woke up. And I don't want to go back to sleep. So I'm here. So I decided to get up and say, hey, if I'm gonna stay awake because I don't want to go back to sleep, why don't I do something useful with my time and record a little bit, huh? Fair enough. So I'm here at 4 in the morning. Um, can't be too loud. It's 4 in the morning. But I can still play games. And playing games is all you need to keep yourself nice and calm. Alright, yeah, we're doing quite a bit of damage here. I'm hoping to maybe get everyone to level 40 soon. The only person that's a slightly bit behind is Ring a Bell, really. Okay, so we go up to here. This is where we go. Grep Keep. Oh, I can just walk. Okay, fair enough. Alright, is this a puzzle? A maze? Okay. Can't go through there. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to walk around the place. Ooh, Bone Knights. Yeah, how strong are these guys? Okay. Okay, they do have quite a bit of HP. That's surprising. I wonder if they're weak to anything specific. Okay, so we did defeat them in one turn, but it was very close. It wasn't like an easy fight, that's for sure. Okay. 
Oh, I think I know the game we're talking here. We just gotta go around and open different levers that open different doors. I see the game we're playing. I see the game we're playing. I can I can get behind that. Hold it. We've got company. Ah! A ghost trying to get us! Yeah, I'm good, bro. You're a bit slow. They've been lurking around for a while now. But it spoke to us! It seems to be trying to tell us something. Almost. We almost made it. The shield bearers were on the verge of routing. We had them surrounded. And their spirits were broken. Then that round little command. A green haze began drifting slowly over the battlefield. Okay, how about we not do ghosts right now, huh? Yeah, let's not do ghosts, please. Thank you. I would appreciate. I would appreciate that very much. Yeah, if if. Ghosts are keep becoming a prevalent thing. I'm gonna stop recording tonight. I'm just gonna go uh, play Counter Strike or something. Cause that is not something I feel like dealing with right now. But we'll continue on just for now. Okay. Let's get moving on through this. I feel like that's probably not the last we've seen of them, but hey. Okay, so let's go up here. What is up here? Chest. 20,000 pig. Okay, so that opens up that door. Fair enough. So staircase is down. Okay. Oh, this leads to this, which opens that. Okay, fair enough. More bone warriors. They're not crazy hard to deal with. We'll just go ahead and take care of them. Get some arrows going. Oh, good critical. Yeah, we literally we have just enough damage to take care of them. Just enough. Okay. So now, we go back down, and again, no guide. No guides are being used currently. Okay, that leads us to the secret chest, which we cannot get until end of the game. Oh, why do you guys get first strike? Alright, we'll have to do a bit of healing after this. Yes, yeah, so those blue chests, oh, I did end up googling those blue chests just to you know, see what was up. So I was right, those cannot be accessed until the end of the game, so. As at this moment, we just kind of have to ignore them, there's not much we can do, so. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure we unpoison everyone, so. Um, Poisana. And then let's get some cures running here. Make sure everyone's tip-top. Okay, so now... We can... Uh, what was I doing? We can go up here, right? This is where I did... Oh, this is where I haven't gone yet. Bruh, not more ghosts. Come on, He's bruh. Back. There were no allies or enemies. All those on the battlefield writhed in the mud and perished, clawing at their throats. I never know such pain. Every breath felt like fire, and it was as if countless parasites crawled upon my body. There were no allies or enemies. Together we grasped at grass, sharing unbearable pain as we met our demise. 
Okay. So people died from mist, yes. And I have an idea who it is. In the cutscenes from the 6, y'all saw one fat dude with, a, uh, you know, the salve maker. <laughs> easy peasy, easy peasy. Okay, so there's one up and one going down. Let's go up first, I guess. Bruh. Uh, Kata, the salve maker. That's the guy. That corpulent commander of the sword bearers. He has returned to the end. Those of us who died from the toxic mist carried to this keep. Then the tests began. Gleeful slicing. All to gauge the effects of his poison. A great success, he said with a smirk. Another breakthrough, as he danced a little jig. There were no allies or enemies. All who died to the mist were sealed within this keep. Who knows how long has passed? With excruciating pain, Chilling cold, hatred and despair growing within us. That's terrible. Okay, well then we shall find that salve maker and realistically probably kill him, so. It's usually the how everything ends in this game. Someone just usually dies. Shh. I hear voices. There's more spirits? No, I think it's actual people this time. No, I think it's something else. Yeah, it's uh, Mr. Uh, Genocide. How fair is the cleansing? We have just completed our work. See for yourself. A perfect job, no? <laughs> it took you three years to cleanse this area. Some weapon that is. Countless meaningless deaths. Contaminated land. And what is left? Nothing but lifeless ruin. No! Oh, how could you say that, sword master? You know nothing of which you speak. To cleanse such a vast area in three years would be impossible for anyone but me! My research on the matter continues, and we may be able to reduce the time further. <laughs> the master sample of the toxin is in here? Yes, we have it stored safely. And there's no danger of it leaking? <laughs> of course not. It is sealed away tight, along with its recipe. Even I... Its creator would not be able to take it from here. Master. What do we do? They spoke of a sample of the toxin. It seems something is stored further in. That's what we need to get hold of. Fair enough. It's our target. Kada. Salve maker Kada. Do you even comprehend the results of your actions four years ago? The results? Why, I annihilated a hundred thousand enemy troops, achieving a brilliant victory! That was no victory. It was a massacre. Our allies caught in the midst, an entire city brought to ruin, turning the area to wasteland for four years. But without my victory, the sword bearers would be no more. Of that, there is no doubt. A mere thousand sword bearers were killed by accident. <laughs> A minimal loss. We sacrificed a thousand to defeat a hundred thousand! Far more effective than conventional war, no? I mean... Can you believe you could have achieved similar results by... He's got a point, honestly, he's got a point. 
to kill a hundred thousand with men, you'd probably have to kill a lot more of your own with a sword. I admit that would be impossible. I mean, or we could just factor to just not killing people. But he was the one who created the toxic mist. My master is angered. I have never seen him so enraged. He's angry. He seems calm enough to me. What? Can't you sense the rage seething within him? It gives me goosebumps. The tension is so thick, it chokes. Okay. Let's keep moving on. Okay, more time. Our objective is not to slaughter our foes. It is to control the crystals and spread anti-crystals. Do not forget that. I have no need for an efficient method of killing. I forbade you from using this toxic weapon of yours in the first place. So, you would have me simply let the sword bearers face defeat? They number just 10,000 against 100,000 shield bearers. They did not stand a chance. And that is because you pressed on ahead without due caution, eager for a quick result. I ordered you to hold the front line, not exterminate our foes. I... I merely saw a chance for victory and, and seized it! I... Uh, I knew we would prevail. If you thought you ever had a chance against those odds, it only shows you lack a talent for generalship. Blinded by ambition, you misread the enemy disobeyed my orders and then slaughtered both enemy and ally alike. You slew them all like dogs. You showed no respect at all for the warriors on either side. How does mindless killing bring anyone to embrace the ideals we uphold? Know this. The next time you disobey my orders for your own selfish ends, you will fall to my sword. I understand completely. <laughs> I will not let you down. I shall return to Starkfort. You stay back and see that the wounded are cared for. I don't know. I think Kamizumi is actually um, ignorant in this actual case. Who does he think he is? Spouting such nonsense. If what a hypocrite. I was on the Swordbearer's side, no place for heroism I would agree with Quada here. Things as a fool's errand. I'll show him one day. Once I get that. Sample yeah, like this back. whole idea of honor and heroism, and um, you know, like, well, he's basically acting like we the killing is okay because it was done such honorably. A deadly substance here. We should take it back with us. Right. Let's go get it. But yeah, I don't like this idea of you killed senselessly. So his solution to that is um, if it's by a sword in combat, it is no longer a senseless killing. Which doesn't make any sense to me because someone still is dead. Right. And if you're trying to achieve something like the sword bearers are, just, you know, get what you need to get done, right? And in the end, like he said, Quada did save them, right? If it wasn't for that action, they might have not made it. So it's like, alright, so you're punishing him for an act that he committed, even though it saved you. And then when he's like, well, let me save you again later, he's like, no. It is unhonorable, even though, in, in what sense is it unhonorable, you know? A death is still a death. So, I actually, I disagree with, uh him in this case are you you it's kind of that line of are you are you bad or good you have to pick a side kiami is what like he's like oh we're good we we don't we only do you know normal killings not massacre it's it's like oh now you're trying to be the good guy like are you are you gonna be the good guy or the bad guy you have to you have to pick a side buddy you either don't commit war crimes or you do, you know? So, it doesn't make any sense to me. How he looks down upon Quada, but doesn't look, upon, doesn't look down upon his own actions. 
but fair enough. Either way, they're wrong as far as, you know, as a general principle of life, they're both wrong, obviously. But, you know, if we're looking at it simply from their point of view, Quada's right. But, obviously, the ideals that they hold are wrong in every sense, so. I still, maybe they'll explain it later in the game, but I just, I'm still not understanding why they're so against crystallism. Is it just simply because of the power that they possess? Like, they think the crystals are alright, but they just feel like they need to be in control of them just to have the power? Is that, is that what they're trying to achieve here? Cause I, I mean, that would make the most sense. Ooh, a zombie knight. That's new. I don't think we've seen that before, unless I just wasn't paying attention. Probably has a bit more HP than the other ones, I'd be guessing. Okay, so yeah, it does have a little bit more, because it took about three characters to actually kill it. While the other ones usually take about two. Okay, I'm turn the volume down just a tiny bit here. Okay, ooh, Ring of Bell is out of mana. Okay, that's something that I will have to fix. And then I'll have to keep an eye on Adia's uh, MP2. Make sure we don't get caught out. Oh yeah, I did do a lot of healing, didn't I? Okay, well then we're gonna go ahead and use a Turbo Ether on there. You know what, we'll even use two Turbo Ethers because, you know, we need to do what we need to do. And then we'll get some tears going. You know what, we'll even just do that and call it a day. Okay, so we can go down here, but let me check out what's over here first. It's just the chest. This, yeah, this place is a little confusing. There's a lot of stairs up and down. Allies get first strike. Yeah, I want to be able to... Down... When we first entered this dungeon, there was only two of them at a time. Now there's three, which is slightly annoying because it usually means two of them are left alive. So we have to take the poison shots every single time. Which is a little annoying, but that's alright. Bah. Yeah, that guy needed just one more hit to die there. Okay. Let's go ahead and go down these stairs over here. I will have to heal right now. Go down these stairs and just heal right away. Okay, so we're down here to the level we've already been to. So these are just like a lever we can pull? Yes, right here. Perfect. So that opens that up. But what does that give us? Huh. What does that really give us? Is this an Okay. No, I thought so. So yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to find an actual staircase for us to get up there. Okay, fair enough. If we go down here, there was one staircase that I missed. I'm trying to find that place. Yes, this this was the one. There's one that goes down. I wanted to see where this one went. Okay, this literally just went to a single chest, so. Glaive. Okay, well, I, I kind of want to put that on somebody, but honestly... I put the only person that could have it is Tiz, and I he has that swordsman, you know. Okay. Oh, I can go through here, and this will take us up. I think this will take us up to the middle, no? Yes, this will take us up to the middle. Okay, and that'll probably honestly take us to the fight. Okay. Um, don't need any equipment, items. Eh, we don't really need anything just yet. 
Let's go ahead and heal and then we can save. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. I'm trying to think if we should go ahead with this fight or not. I think I'm going to end this episode off here, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and comment, ask for the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.